Welcome to the discussion on problems on projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. Under this, we are discussing now second problem. Now we'll enter into the problem. The given problem is the top view of a 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm, while the length of its front view is 50 mm. Its one end A is in the HP and 12 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections of AB and determine its inclinations with the HP and the VP. Now we'll extract the data from the problem. Here in the problem, it is mentioned that the top view of a 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm, while the length of its trend view is 50 mm. That means the true length of the line is 75 mm and top view length is 65 mm and trend view length is 50 mm. In addition to true length, top view length and trend view length and position of one end of the line say A is given that is an A is in the HP and 12 mm in front of the VP. In the case of orthographic projection of points, the front view points are denoted by lowercase letters with prime and top view points are denoted by lowercase letters without prime. If that is the case, then an A is in the HP, that means front view of A, that is A dash is on XY and top view of A, that is A is 12 mm below XY. Then we will write the data. Here we have to recollect the terminology used under projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. Based upon that, the true length of the line AB is equal to how much? 75 mm and A dash B1 dash is nothing but true length of the line in front view and AB2 is nothing but true length of the line in top view. In the problem, true inclinations with the HP and VP are not given. Then what else given in the problem? Apparent lengths are given. That is front view length as well as top view length. In addition to that, one end of the line's position. Top view length, that is AB1 is equal to 65 mm. Front view length, A dash B2 dash is equal to 50 mm. And one end of the position of a line A is given, that is A dash is on XY line and A is 12 mm below XY line. And what else we need to find out? We need to draw the projections of the line that is in front view as well as top view. Here A dash B dash is the final position of the line in front view and AB is the final position of the line in top view. In addition to that, we need to find the true inclinations of the line with HP as well as VP. With HP, true inclination of the line with HP is theta and true inclination of the line with VP is phi. This is the pictorial way of representing the information given in the problem. Here, A dash is on XY line, A is 12 mm below XY line, then this is apparent length in front view, that is front view length, and this is apparent length in top view, that is top view length. Top view length is 65 mm and front view length is 50 mm. And true length of the line is 75 mm. Here A dash, B1 dash is true length in front view, A, B2 is the true length in top view. Now we'll recollect the procedural methodology of solving the basic problem under line inclined to both the plane concept. In the basic problem, true length and true inclination with HP and VP given and asked us to draw final projections. Here A dash, B1 dash is true length in front view and theta is true inclination of the line with HP. A, B2 is the true length of the line in top view and phi is the true inclination of the line with VP. Then A dash B1 dash that is true length of the line in front view. For this, we'll draw apparent length in top view. Then for this true length, we'll draw apparent length in front view. After 
circuit with compass fixing one end of the front tube say a dash rotate b2 dash towards this locus line name this point as b dash join a dash as well as b dash similarly with compass fixing one end of top tube say a rotate b1 towards this locus line name this point as b join a b here in this problem true length and true inclinations given with that we found apparent lengths in front view as well as top view then apparent lengths are rotated towards the locus lines for getting final projections of the line but in the present problem true length apparent lengths are given but true inclinations are not given then we have to find the true inclinations and we need to draw the final projections for that what we need to do here a dash b2 dash is front view length a b1 is top view length and for this top view length we'll draw true length in front view for this front view length we'll draw true length in top view then we'll measure the inclination of this true length with hp and inclination of this true length with vp and draw final projections for that now we'll enter into the detailed construction of projection of straight line inclined to both the planes as a first step in projection of straight line inclined to both the planes draw xy line after that draw projector on xy line then locate a dash as well as a a dash is on xy line and a is 12 mm below xy line on projector then draw locus line at a after that as front view length is given as 50 mm and top view length is given as 65 mm so at a with length of 65 mm draw a line parallel to xy line at a dash on xy line draw with a length of 50 mm front view line this is top view line that is 65 mm name the end point as b1 then similarly at a dash on xy line with a length of 50 mm draw a line name the end point as b2 dash this is front view length and this is top view length next step is drawing true length of the lines in front view as well as top view for this apparent length in top view we'll draw true length in front view for that what we have to do so draw projector at b1 vertically upwards at a dash 75 mm that is true length as a radius draw an arc on the projector name the point on the projector as b1 dash then join a dash and b1 dash this is the true length of the line in front view then we will draw true length of the line in top view so this a dash b2 dash is the front view length for this we will draw true length in top view for that what we have to do at b2 dash draw projector vertically down then at a as a center and true length 75 mm as a radius draw an arc on this projector name the point on the projector as b2 join a b2 a b2 is the true length of the line here a dash b1 dash a b2 are true lengths which is equal to 75 mm after that passing through b1 dash as well as b2 draw locus lines this is the locus line for b1 dash and this is the locus line for b2 next step is drawing final projections of the line now we'll see 
how to draw final projections of the line for that with compass fix one end of the front you say a dash and rotate another end of the front you say b2 dash towards this locus line and name this intersection point on the locus line as b dash drawing a dash and b dash this is the final front view similarly with compass fix one end of the top view say a and rotate another end of the top view say b1 towards this locus line name the intersection point on the locus line as b join ab here ab is the final projection of the line in top u whereas a dash b dash is the final projection of the line in front u then join b and b dash here a a dash b b dash are called end projectors and they are parallel to each other next step is finding the inclination of the lines with hp as well as vp and doing dimensioning here a dash b1 dash and a b2 are true lengths which is equal to 75 mm a dash b dash is front view length which is equal to 50 mm a b1 is equal to 65 mm that a b1 is nothing but top view length and then top view of a that is a is 12 mm below x y line here all these dimensions are in millimeters then theta is the true inclination of the line with hp and alpha is the front view inclination with hp then phi is the true inclination of the line with vp beta is the top view inclination with vp we found that true inclination of the line with hp that is theta is equal to 30 degrees true inclination of the line with vp that is phi is equal to 48 degrees front view inclination with hp is 44 degrees top view inclination with vp that is beta is equal to 58 degrees here in this diagram a dash b dash and a b that is final projection should be more darker than true length of the lines as well as a dash b2 dash that is initial front view and a b1 initial top view that is when compared to true lengths and initial front view and top view final projection should be more darker that's about the construction of projection of straight line inclined to both the planes visit again for more videos on engineering graphics the links provided under the description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing if you have any queries you can mention under comment section under this video i'll respond